May the Lord bless and keep you. There are some people that can memorize Bible scriptures very easily. Or should I say, there may be some people that can memorize Bible scriptures very easily. There may be some people who may read the Bible often. Let me say this as well. What is the point in being able to memorize many scriptures? What is the point in reading the Bible often if you are not going to apply what you have learned? You are reading the Bible. The Bible is telling you what is going to happen. So when it happens, you are not applying what you have learned. I have met some people or spoke with some people and they know what the Bible is saying. They understand the concepts, but the thing about it, they don't apply it. For many people, they understand what I am saying and they may be able to explain things much better than I, but they don't apply what they have learned. Don't you know, and I see this for myself as well, don't you know, when you learn more about God, you are going to be tested upon what you know. A year or two ago, I did not get tested upon what I am going through now. But as I grow in God, I get tested much more. Let me say this. There was a job that I used to work at. And I believe there were four levels that you could excel to. But if you did not pass the test, <laughs> you are not going to the next level. And for every test that you pass, you are going to be tested on new material. Of course, some material is going to be on the lower test, but each time you pass a test, the test is going to be harder. What is the point of me going to that job? And they say, Kevin, the test is going to be upon this book. <laughs> okay, let me read this book for 10 hours. <laughs> And let me take the test. Let me not apply what I know in this book and just place random answers into it. This is what you are doing. You are reading a book and placing random answers on the test, not applying what you know or what you have read in the Bible. How crazy is that? Kevin, I don't know what's going on, but you read the Bible for a while, right? Yes. Well, what does James 1 and 1 say? And what does blah, blah, blah say? And you can say it and you know it. And I am thinking, hey, why aren't you applying it? I don't know, Kevin. <laughs> oh, my Lord. 
Why aren't you applying what you know? Then what people do, they get discouraged, they get really depressed, they get suicidal, they may even cut their wrist, wrist and do other foolish, crazy things when they know about the Bible. Kevin, I have read the Bible many times. I know what the Bible is saying. Why aren't you applying it? The best time to apply the Bible is when times get bad. Yes, you can use it when times are good, yes. But when times are bad, that is the highlight time to do it. You should find encouragement in the scriptures. People try to find encouragement through other people, through shopping, through eating, through doing these carnal things, which is not going to work. You need to find encouragement in the scriptures. Your problem is, for many people, your problem is, is you lack faith. Am I saying that, hey, Kev, have the highest amount of faith? Of course not. I am not saying that. But you lack faith. You need to start believing and applying on what you read. I know for myself, when I go through bad times, my mind reverts back to what I have read. And I find encouragement in what I read in the Bible. This is what you need to do. Stop trying to do other things. Well, you know, I am feeling really sad. So let me find a wife or a husband so that can make me happy. Or I am feeling really depressed. So let me do these drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. Well, I heard that if you cut yourself uh, that eases out the pain, craziness. You know the Bible. Find encouragement in the Bible. Apply it to your life. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.